Use this procedure to add a new item to your inventory. First, open your item list. Click Add from the Window Toolbar. A new form is open. Enter the item name. This is a short item description that is printed on sales receipts. We will type in Dell Touchscreen Monitor. The type is Inventory. We need to choose our department. So you would select a department to which the item belongs. Ours is a hardware with the monitor as a sub department. The item description is a secondary long description field used to record additional information. This field label can be customized to meet your needs. What I usually do is copy and paste it. But you can use this for a longer description. And this does not print on the sales receipt. For the size, you can enter the size of the item. You can use abbreviations. For example, if you have consistent entries, this will make filtering and finding items in inventory and reports easier. This field can also be used to describe a second item attribute other than size if desired. This field label can be customized to say something else other than size. We're going to type in 21 inches. That's how big the monitor is. And the attribute field can be used to describe an item characteristic such as the color, pattern, material, or a second size. This field label can also be customized. We will type in black with white trim. And here's where we can type in the regular price. This is a regular sale price, or you can leave it blank and let point of sale use a department pricing formula to calculate it for you. You can also click the pricing button if you want to use different prices and different markdowns. We don't have any markdowns set up. I'm going to type in $250. For the average unit cost, enter a value if this is an existing item in your store on program startup, or if you know the cost for a newly ordered item. If you leave this field blank, point of sale will autofill it with the cost when an item is received on a receiving voucher and maintain it by averaging the item cost over time. Since this is a new product, we will add $100. For the on hand quantity, you can enter a value if this is an existing inventory item in your store on program startup. If you are defining a new item that you will be ordering, leave this field blank for now and point of sale will auto fill it in when you receive the item on a receiving voucher. Since we're adding this item on startup, we will enter 10. If you click on the available button, if you have the multi-store set up, it will show you what you have available in each quantity by store. For the tax, you review the tax field and select a tax code if necessary. If you define a default tax code in the associated department record, it will be suggested for that item. For the UPC, you can scan or type the UPC code. You can choose a quick pick group. So since we've already defined them in our inventory preferences, we will add this to hardware. This concludes part one of adding our inventory item. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe and click on the bell to be notified when I make another video about point of sale. Thank you everybody.